Ethan, good morning. We now know more about the shooter involved in this officer involved shooting overnight. Wauwatosa police telling us he is a 23 year old Milwaukee man with a lengthy arrest record. Now, Wauwatosa officers tried to stop the vehicle. He was driving that white stolen car. They chased it here to Milwaukee where it stopped. The driver got out and opened fire at police. Now, the officers did return fire, hitting the driver twice. A 19-year-old woman was also shot once, but it's unclear whether she was shot by police or by the suspect. Now, this all started around 12.30 this morning. Wauwatosa police tried to pull the driver over. They said he was driving a suspicious vehicle. They're not exactly saying what made it suspicious. Again, the driver took off. Officers chased the suspect's vehicle into Milwaukee, where they used stop sticks to stop the car. That's when the officer's driver jumped out and fired a semi-automatic handgun at police. It's a pretty dangerous situation, so uh, we don't know exactly how many rounds were fired. Uh, but for, again, for the suspect to not only put our officers, but the innocent civilians into a position like this, um, and it's quiet residential neighborhood at 12.30 in the morning, um, those actions are very concerning. Investigators say the shooter hit the officer's squad cars twice, but the officers were not injured. Now, the driver and passenger who were shot have been treated and released from a local hospital. They are in police custody, along with two other adults, a man and woman, who were also in the car. Now, investigators here at the scene, as you can see, are still gathering evidence, but they tell Fox 6 they have recovered a semi-automatic handgun. And again, they tell us that the driver involved, they, who they believe shot at police, does have a lengthy criminal arrest record. Now, officers have not released any information about those three Wabatosa officers who were involved in the shooting, but they did release a statement. It reads in part, our officers acted quickly and decisively when facing an extremely dangerous situation that was created solely by the suspect's action. Of course, as more information becomes available, we will be sure to pass it on to you. Stay with Wake Up and Fox6Now.com for the latest. Reporting live on 85th in Milwaukee, Amy DuPont, Fox 6 News.